let's talk investment properties. Off the top of my head, I can think of about three investment properties, residential, commercial, and agriculture. Residential investment properties, there's two types. You can do the long-term investment properties in the rental industry. You can have uh, single family homes, duplexes, triplexes, multiplexes, uh, all those that fall under that category. Those are our long-term investment. So you have to be able to plan what kind of investment return that you want to, and there's a certain formula that you use to verify whether or not, you know, it's a good investment for you to go ahead and make this plunge. The other opportunity is commercial. Commercial is a little bit of a bigger animal that you have to deal with. And why I say that is because, you know, it's price per square foot. It's substantially more expensive than residential real estate. And you have to verify that you have a very marketable piece of property, somebody that can get in there for a long period of time and kind of ease your uh, concerns of whether or not it's going to manage itself or whether or not it's going to be a financial drain on you. Uh, those are expertise that I don't have in commercial investment. Uh, I do have more experience in the agriculture. Agriculture is a little animal in itself because you know, land has gone up in value, it's starting to trickle back a little bit. And when it started to go up in value, so did the acre rental. You know, it, it inflated from, you know, 100 to 125 to $150 an acre to 200 to 250 to $300 an acre. Well, obviously that's trickled back down. Um, the average lot rent per acre on ag ground is probably between 175 and $225 whereas the average price per acre to purchase land um, at one time was as much as $10,000 and it's trickled back down into around $7,000 being the average. Uh, you can buy property between $5,600 and eight to $9,000. It just depends on the quality of the ground and the location of the ground. But if you have any other questions about real estate, feel free to give me a call. Um, I have a little bit of experience in the short-term flips where you buy a property, you do improvements, you turn it around, put it back on the market, you try to make a little bit of money. That window is usually about anywhere from two to six months. If, you, if it's faster than two months, then you're probably not going to get a very good return unless you've done some major improvements, which is hard to do in that short period of time. Uh, if you go over six months, then you're going to probably start paying a lot more interest on the monies that you're using. Uh, because we all lose money if you're the longer the period of repairs. So if you have any additional questions about these types of things, feel free to give me a call back and I'll be more than glad to answer any more questions about investment properties. Have a good day.